Hello. In this video, I'm going to briefly discuss the stereospecificity of epoxide ring opening. Uh, because the epoxide ring opening mechanism is an SN2 mechanism, uh, we can actually expect certain, whoa, certain stereochemical outcomes. Uh, and in this case, I'm going to use the same kind of, uh, same kind of uh, generic or same kind of prototypical nucleophile. I'm going to stick to the uh, strong acid version the, or the strong nucleophile version. The acidic version actually is also stereospecific. So it's one way that we know that while that, let's say while that reaction may be influenced by some carbocation-like character, it still uh, is an SN2 mechanism because it preserves stereochemistry. Okay. So in this particular example, I actually have my nucleophile. Um, and the nucleophile attacks at the less substituted position, which right now is not a chirality center. And, and so there's really no stereochemical change happening there, but there is a chirality center elsewhere in the epoxide. Uh, and the configuration at that chirality center has not changed. I'll do one more uh, brief example that I'll where we do have maybe a secondary and a tertiary, so we get attack at the we get attack at the secondary position. Same reaction or same same nucleophile, same conditions. We're gonna get a different product. So give me a moment to to draw it here. So here's my, <clears throat> this reaction also goes uh, with, with the stereospecificity. We have nucleophilic attack now at the secondary position, which is less substituted. So that bond breaks. We now have inversions. This is inversion of that stereo center or that chirality center. We have inversion when the reaction occurs at the chirality center. We have retention if the reaction does not occur at the chirality center, which is actually pretty consistent with, with almost every other kind of reaction. But because this is a concerted reaction and it's an SN2 mechanism, there are, it is predictable in terms of its stereospecificity. Thank you for watching.